This is the video for lesson 35 on my website, Introduction to Number Line Problems. Usually we work with number lines that are numbered 1, 2, 3, etc. with one digit per line. It's important though to be able to work with number lines that are numbered in different ways, such as what we can see here in these examples, and it's important to be able to work with number lines that are missing values. Very often a test question will look like this, and you'll have to identify points on a number line that's not numbered in a standard way. Let's take a look at these examples. In this first example, you can see that we're counting by 20s as far as the lines that are numbered. So if we just look at the numbered lines, this is 740, 760, 780. We're counting by 20s. Now, if we take a look, for example, between the 780 and the 800, we can see that we're skipping Two, there's actually two spaces in between. What that means is that since there's a difference of 20 between these two lines, the halfway point will be a difference of 10. Make sure you see how I did that. It's just 20 divided by 2. That means that each line on the number line actually represents 10. We're counting by 10s. Once we see that, it's pretty easy to see that this point is 790. I added 10 to the 780. In a similar fashion, I can add 10 to the 760, and we can see that point B here, one of the points to identify, is 770. Halfway between the 740 and the 760 is 750. Now point A looks as though it's halfway between the 740 and the 750. It's not directly plotted on a line, but we can see visually that it's halfway between them halfway between 740 and 750 is 745. So if I wanted, I could make a little arrow like that and just show that point A is 745. Okay. Let's take a look at this second example here. If I look at the 24 and the 32, and then the 32 and the 40, I can see that I'm counting by 8s as far as the lines that are numbered. Now, there's one empty line in between each pair of numbered lines. What that means is that each of the actual tick marks on this number line is counting by 4, because 4 is half of 8. So that means I could label this 28. I could label this 36. Now, point D is easy to see. I just add 4 to 40, and that's 44, and so on. Now again, just as in the example above, point C is halfway between the 36 and the 40. So it's not too hard to see that it's actually at 38, even though it doesn't lie on an actual tick mark. Make sure that you feel fully comfortable with working with number lines in this way. Just look at each problem and deduce mathematically what each tick mark represents, and then if necessary, look at the halfway points between tick marks to figure out what plotted points are actually plotted at.